Andrew Allegretta here with the head coach of Virginia Tech Track and Field and Cross Country, Dave Cinelli, one of the most successful and consistent programs here at Virginia Tech over the past year. You guys just got back from NCAA's another successful trip, Coach. Give us the quick synopsis of how the athletes did. Uh, I was really pleased uh, with the efforts. Obviously, um, at the top, um, Irina Sedeva winning uh, an individual national championship in the javelin was the, was the real highlight. Um, but we had some other great performances. Uh, Hannah Green, uh, third place in the 800, uh, was a great performance. Tomas Kruzliak, fourth in the hammer throw. Uh, Thomas Curtin, uh, seventh in the 5,000. Um, some really great efforts. Uh, it's, uh, it's a tough, tough meet. It gets better every year. So, you know, to be able to get to the meet uh, is a really tall order now. And then to be able to score at the meet is uh, incredibly hard. And to be able to win the meet, it's, you have to not only be a great talent, I mean, you have to be perfect on that day. Yeah. So let's go back to the national champion, Sadiva, in the javelin throw held out at the University of Oregon. So this is now the fourth national champion individually for Virginia Tech in the past five years, and it came with some drama. What was it for Sadiva? It was a little bit of drama. Uh, going into the final round, sixth throw, uh, she was in second place. Uh, down by about a foot um, and we were she had one throw remaining uh, and she got hold of her last throw and it looked really good but we weren't sure until it came up on the board she took the lead and then we had to kind of sweat out the final throw um, of the competition and uh, she held on uh, to win a new school record a new ACC record and so it was really really exciting uh, for everybody and uh, you know she's uh, you know, only a sophomore, so she's going to have some other opportunities. Take me back to the moment when you and the coaching staff first got the chance to speak with and celebrate with Sadiva after she officially had won the national champion. What was that like? Uh, I think it hadn't sunk in really with her yet, um, you know, because they have to do, you know, some interviews and, and some drug testing and stuff like that right after the competition. But uh, I think later on it kind of sunk in as she realized how how special it was. I mean, for us as coaches, you know, winning a title there, an individual title, is, uh, is, is really something that you have to savor because it doesn't happen that often. So for us, uh, collectively as a, as a staff, we were, we were super excited. I wrote this down. She is now the third female track national champion here at Virginia Tech. In your mind, how does she start to, and again, just a sophomore, rank in terms of female athletes here at Virginia Tech in your program? Well, we've had, you know, two others, um, Queen Harrison, sure. uh, obviously in, in 2010 in the hurdles, and then um, uh, Dorte Albazin in the hammer throw. Um, you know, I think Queen, because it was a multiple national championship in two events, and she's the only athlete ever to do that, uh, probably still has to rank at the top, but uh, certainly Irina, before she graduates from Virginia Tech, um, she'll I'm very confident she'll be the best ever at the NCAA level in her event, which is something um, you know even Queen couldn't say. I mean, she was uh, certainly ranked in the top five, but uh, she uh, she wasn't a collegiate record holder. And I think uh, Irina, if she can stay healthy, I think she will she'll get that. Incredibly exciting career to follow for the next couple of years. Let's go back to the other three All-Americans that you had. Uh, Tommy Curtin, Tomas Kruzliak, and Hannah Green. What stood out to you in their performances and what events, just so we make sure we're clear on events that they were successful in? Right. Uh, Tomas Kruzliak uh, in the hammer throw, uh, I thought was an outstanding performance because uh, his consistency during the year was a little bit up and down, but uh, he really came up big at the ACC championships uh, to win that. And I think he was just peaking at the right time of the year. Um, and that event has really gotten a lot better over the last three years. So uh, for him to go in there and, and get fourth place, we were very, very happy about that because certainly in the, in the form charts going in, the, uh, you know, the media had didn't have him that high. So I was really happy with his performance, uh, great effort. Um, Hannah Green, um, again, an incredible performance. Uh, that event, the women's 800 meters, is so deep now. Uh, typically her time uh, of 201 uh, in most years would win and uh, it just so happens the event has gotten better and better. Uh, she ended up third but she's only a sophomore so uh, again she's going to get better and better uh, for you know the next couple years and 
you know, she's going to vie for an indoor and outdoor title here, you know, in these next two years. Um, and then um, our third uh, one, Tommy Curtin, who's been super consistent, cross-country, All-American indoors uh, in two events, and now All-American in the 5,000 outdoors. He's probably been our most consistent uh, performer, uh, certainly from the distance group, uh, over the past uh, two or three years, and uh, really, really excited to see him uh, place in that event. He, he really ran a great race, a gutted race. He was in the lead for most of the race and then kind of held on at the end uh, to get seventh. So, uh, And he's back. He's only a junior, so he'll have another, uh, another year, and I'm really looking forward to uh, for him returning. A lot of these key players are all going to be returning for Virginia Tech next year. And I know on the team side, you said you're very excited that the women's team placed 15th overall. Yes, uh, the, the national meet is a very different animal than the conference meet. So if you can get some quality people, it doesn't take very many, to the national meet, you can place fairly high. So it doesn't necessarily um, relate to maybe how you did at the conference meet. So uh, we had a, obviously a better national team this year than a conference team. And next year, I think we're going to improve on both ends. Uh, I think our conference team is going to be much better much deeper and then we'll have more people at the national championships which gives you more opportunities obviously to score and you know it's just a matter of uh, trying to pick up some points here and there the national meet is like I said very very tough. Yeah. Coach congratulations once again on another successful season thank you for talking with us don't forget the USA championships coming up in the next week or so you can follow all of that right here on Hokiesports.com for Coach Tonelli my name is Andrew Allegretta thank you so much for clicking.